Growing up, I was always an athlete. I played football, basketball, I played rugby. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my experience on what are the downsides to both being an athlete and trying to gain muscle. It was only until recently, only until this year that I just focus on one sport and bodybuilding. And I can tell you from experience that you aren't going to maximize muscle growth, nor are you going to maximize your progress in your sports if you try to take both seriously. Practically speaking, it isn't optimal to try handle both, but of course you can still gain muscle while being an athlete. Of course, you can still progress and become a better athlete whilst also going to the gym and doing resistance training. So here are some quick tips that I would give if I was trying to both get better as an athlete and gain muscle. If every day you have a high intensity sport which involves cardio for more than, you know, let's say an hour, you aren't going to progress as much as you'd like probably in the gym with regards to gaining muscle. My week basically consists of two prolonged high intensity cardio sessions that last around 90 minutes. That alone isn't going to be the best thing for muscle gain isn't going to be the best thing for progressing strength wise but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make because at the end of the day I also care about my progress as a football player and I'm not going to let that go just so I can maybe gain two more pounds of muscle or go up a little bit in strength so what I would definitely 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 recommend is regardless of how many times a week you train in the gym or on the field or on the court make sure you have one day where you just rest you rest the entire day and you don't engage in any high intensity intensity cardio sessions, you don't go to the gym, you just take the day to rest. That alone is a pinnacle to bodybuilding, but it's also a pinnacle to sports like football, like basketball. You need to let your body recover, you need to take a day off. I, as I said, have two days where I play football, but during those two days, I don't go to the gym. And here's why. If you go to the gym and let's say within a few hours you have a hard training session for 60 minutes or 90 minutes, then this is going to negatively impact your progress in the gym with regards to strength and muscle. Because essentially what you're doing is you're putting your body through a lot of stress and this excess cortisol, which comes as a result of putting your body under a lot of aerobic stress, will most of the time, depending on your caloric intake and depending on how hard you train in the gym, put you in a catabolic state. And what this means is because you put yourself under an excessive amount of stress, your body needs to recover and will draw that energy for recovery from your muscles. So basically take away that hard earned muscle gain. This is obviously unideal, especially if you're trying to build muscle. So if you can, do not train your sport and go to the gym on the same day, especially right after each other. And if you have no choice, at least try and space out your training and your gym sessions by several hours. This will allow for a bit of recovery between the two sessions. But if you space your training session and your gym session with two to three hours, that's not enough time for recovery. If you don't give your body enough time, enough food, enough sleep to fully recover, this can also play a big role in decreasing your metabolism and therefore making it harder to lose fat. If you are trying to gain muscle whilst also trying to improve in your sport, a sufficient amount of calories and protein. This is especially important for athletes who are trying to maximize or at least maintain muscle. You must be getting in one gram per pound of body weight. You also wanna be eating a lot of carbs both before and after your workouts to ensure your muscles have a sufficient amount of glycogen both before and after your training. This will help with recovery and muscle growth if that is what you're trying to do. Another thing I would say is if you are both an athlete and going to the gym to try gain muscle, make sure your gym sessions are hard and intense. This will allow you to keep more muscle on your frame in this sort of unideal situation of balancing both. I found that if I don't train hard, then my physique is going to suffer. So make sure you're training till failure every gym session. If you're gonna be an athlete and a bodybuilder and you're gonna try prioritize muscle gain, as well as improvements in your sport, definitely do both. But think of it like this, if you were to give one of them your all, you were to eat well, sleep well, train well, then your progress would be 100% of your potential. However, if you try handle both, the reality is your progress in both are going to be mitigated to around 75%. Having said that, you're going to be good at both. You're going to see progress in both. But to maximize muscle gain, avoid doing your sports sessions directly or within two to three hours after your gym sessions. The best case scenario is, is if you separate them by several hours if you do have to do both on the same day and if you choose to do both on the same day. However, my advice would be choose six days of the week to allocate to both. With one recovery day, if you have three days of sports sessions, do three days of gym. 
If you have four days of sports sessions, do two days of gym, but always have a day to recover and try separate both sessions on different days to reduce the negative impact on your metabolism and to allow for sufficient recovery to ensure that you get better every session, you progress in your strength, you get more skilled in your sport and you maximize your muscle growth. Don't think that you have to drop your sport for the gym or you have to drop the gym to be good at sports. No, I'm just being quite picky. I'm being quite to the point. It's definitely possible to look good, build muscle and also play sports. It's just about making sure that you prioritize recovery, eating well, sleeping well. And it's also important to know that you can handle both, but if you were to reduce the time allocated to one and increase the time allocated to the other, you would see a shift in progress from one to the other, if that makes sense. I hope you found this helpful. And it's when it comes to trying to balance a sport and bodybuilding and trying to dedicate time to both and effort to both. These are the key things that you need to make sure you're doing if you want to maximize progress and your potential in both. So I hope you enjoyed and yeah, peace.